and welcome to Ready Set Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room. And I'm going to show you a fun um, box project today with a bit of a cutout on it. Um, this is one I did a couple of years ago, which you will recognise. Um, if you recognise that as those stamps, you'll know that is a couple of years ago. But I couldn't find that I'd done a video for it um, for you. Um, and there are a couple of little tips on how to get um, a nice cut out there. So I'm going to do a birthday version because just because we're coming into the festive season doesn't mean people don't have birthdays. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you a birthday version. So we're going to use Pretty in Pink and basic white instead of the real red there of course you can do one in a festive design um, so our base box you can see here is at 11 by 6 inches and i'm just cutting it's scored sorry all the way around at two inches so two inches from each edge and then i'm just going to cut out those score lines one, two, three, four, in order to form a regular box for the bottom. Now, if you want to decorate the bottom part of this box, now is the time when you're going to stamp or before you um, before you actually assemble. Go ahead and um, stamp it flat. Um, but I'm actually just going to decorate the white piece, make the lid the star of the show here. So... A little bit of Tombow Blue on those tabs. One, two, three and four. And let's pop this box together. So just putting those tabs onto the inside and fold together, just making sure that the corners are square on there. That's our base box. Did I say square? Let's make sure it really is. There we go. Okay, so there's our base box. So I'll set that to one side um, and we'll do the stamping on the lid. Now the lid is um, nine and one eighth by four and scored at one inch all the way around. And we're going to go ahead and do some stamping on here. Um, so let's use the Pretty in Pink. And I'm also going to use um, Misty Moonlight. So I'll bring the Misty Moonlight in first. Um, the stamps I'm going to use are from uh, Layering Leaves. We're going to use one of the leaf stamps and this little... Um, this little sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Blotchy bits, <laughs> sprinkles of ink. Tell me what the word is, menopause brain. Um, and then we're going to use some translucent florals. This one here, just wanted something on a fairly small scale. And I think we're gonna use the um, flowers from Labelled With Love and also the happy birthday on here. But really you can use whatever you want as decoration. I'm going to just take a little scrap. Have I got a scrap? Got a scrap from where I was practicing earlier. Um, I'm just going to put that along, sorry, along the inside edge as I stamp to make sure I don't get any ink where I don't want it. So we'll start off in blue and I'll start off with this um, little sprig from the translucent florals. So as I say, this is Misty Moonlight. And I'm just going to go round the edge, just making sure it's really just the the sprinkly one. I want to make sure I um I don't go over the edge there. So I'm probably okay with this one. Just stamp that a few times around the edge with the moonlight. And then I'm going to also stamp um, the Pretty in Pink with these leaves. I'm just 
just pop some of those a little bit in between, a little bit over the top. Okay, and let's see these little little dotty bits. Now this was where I wanted to make it not get on the box and what do I do? I put it on the box. <laughs> Never mind. Putting it on the, the lid where I didn't really want it, but that's all right. We'll get away with it. We'll get away with it for the purposes of the video. Okay, so that's that little bit of stamping. Now we need to stamp the greeting um, onto the front of the box, but before I do that, I'm going to do my punching. Now let's go back to um, our measurements here. So layer one is our pink layer. Um, in this case, it's gonna be your colored layer. You're going to punch this with a one and three quarter punch, and you want it about halfway, around about halfway, down on that one and three quarter punch. And then with the white layer, we're going to um, we're going to punch a larger punch, in this case, two inches. And I'm just going to grab a pencil and mark that line around. So I know there, this is just on the back, I know where I'm punching. And I want to line my two inch punch up and make that about even around the edge. Now, normally when we're doing layers, it's almost like the opposite way round. So our colour would be larger and our white would be smaller. But because we're stacking them in this way, this way round, um, because we're stacking in them in this way, um, then yeah, that's the order you need to do them in. So do the pink first, then mark and do the white, and then you can get this piece lined up. Also, and this is why I didn't stop with the stamping, having worked out where that, that, that piece now is, and this is why it's not terribly critical when you're doing it, is I'm gonna grab my pencil again and mark just a little bit round the edge as to um, where that's going to be. Now I can bring my misty moonlight back in and I can stamp a happy birthday. So that is going to be, just looking around the camera, that is going to be now in the right place. We're going to do some little cuts. And just make sure I don't muddle this up with my <laughs> with my one that I was using earlier as a template. Yeah, let's just make sure that I've got the right ones. This one can go away. <laughs> We're not going to get into a muddle with that. <laughs> OK, so all you've got to do is just um, work out when you're punching these um, that you've got enough room for your greeting, which hopefully I have because I didn't measure. Um, but if you've got a particularly large greeting, just make sure you're leaving enough room and you're you're putting it over enough onto the right hand side there. Or the left could be either. And before I assemble this, I'm going to just brush off those little pencil marks. And we'll put our glue our lid together. Now, what I always suggest when you're making a box is just put, just bring your box in. And I'm going to use the bottom of it because that is um, a little bit more stable than the top and it's the same size. And now I can just gently put these gluey bits on and just check that everything is fitting properly. I've got it all lined up and in the right place and then fold those corners in 
to just make sure that our lid is going to be a perfect fit. And then we'll put it on the top and that looks lovely. Right. right, so in order to put the top piece on here, we are going to stamp first. And I'm using um, Celebrate the Best Day Ever. This is from Happy Little Things, which I think is an online exclusive. And let's look through, make sure I'm stamping this more or less straight. Looking around the camera. Yeah, I would say that's not terribly straight. I hope you'll forgive me for that one. Um, well, that's that's OK. For the purposes of the video, as she says, that will do fine. Um, and I'm going to stamp again in the Pretty in Pink. And I think I'll just have these little flowers going here. Maybe a couple around our greeting to distract from my lack of straightness. I always tell my lovely ladies that straight is overrated. <laughs> right, okay. And then I'm going to pop this onto our layer. Like so. And when we put that on the top, we can put it down flat or we can pop it up. So I will actually pop this up on some dimensionals. So as you can see, this is a very um, simple box, as long as you go in the right order with actually doing that punching and marking where you stamp, it makes it a simple project then. If you like all your working out to be done for you and you like to see some printed measurements, and some videos showing you how to do it. Make sure you go and visit us at Ready Set Demo and sign up for my newsletter, which you will find um, a link just down below if you're watching on YouTube to make sure you don't miss any of my projects. So there we go. There is our Celebrate the Best Day Ever and our Tis the Season to be Jolly from a couple of years ago. So I hope you like that project and thank you for visiting Ready Set Demo from Elizabeth's Craft Room today. Bye. Love.